Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I am going to show you how you can set up your very own DCS World server using the actual dedicated DCS open beta server. So first step, we need to create a mission. So you hop in the mission editor. Realistically, you'll probably create a new one. Just go with the default. It's simple enough, easy, and it aligns factions so that you just kind of have a nice easy starting point. So you'll want to go through and create whatever you're doing in your mission. We'll make this one super simple. And we're going to make Batumi blue. And we'll come up north and make Gudata red. Let's mess with the weather a little bit. Oh, let's do a summer heavy thunderstorm. So that's going to be heavy thunderstorms. And let's throw in a couple of jets down here at Batumi because what's a fighting air force without jets? Is there no place to put them? There it is. Cool. Um, just for fun, we'll pick the F-18. This is going to be takeoff from parking hot. And we'll make it client so that people can actually use it. We'll make a flight of four. And call that good and then oh up north let's put now nah, let's put some tanks just something to shoot at oh what do we want instead of armor let's use some unarmed humvees kind of point their direction roughly in the line of that and send them out so i've got a whole bunch of targets just for fun now File save. So normally it will save in your save games, DCS open beta, and missions. Let's say you do have to keep that dot .miz on there. If you delete that, the file will be unusable. Um, it just won't recognize it. And let's just call this server test. Save that. And DCS is set up. Oh, no, that's a problem. All these boys need to be red. There we go. Save that guy. And that's it for indie test because now we have a mission to actually run on our server. So, so next we are going to hop over to the browser. All right, on Digital Combat Simulator, we go to Downloads, DCS World Dedicated Server, or DCS World Open Beta Dedicated Server. That does make a difference. You're going to want to download the open beta dedicated server. If you play open beta, it's literally just click download. And essentially this installs just like standard DCS does. So once that has installed, you basically just step through it, tell it where to install, etc. It kind of does download a second copy of DCS, but with some modifications. You're going to go into your start menu, come down here to Eagle Dynamics, and you now have DCS World open beta server, local web GUI, Repair and update. So you'll want to run update relatively often, about as often as you want. It updates kind of with DCS, but not necessarily. But the first thing you're going to run is DCS World Open Beta Server. So it's going to check for updates. It doesn't always say you have to get them, but if it does, just click OK and that'll run. This kind of pops up in a whole lot of weird places but it pops up everywhere and basically you just log in DCS is launching this open beta server and it is pretty unresponsive for a little bit then it comes up with this just flat white program called DCS open beta server and that's the end of that like it that's all that runs it just runs headless so you can either go over to another window or you can just leave it running in the background but that little white window is all you are going to get. So the way to actually control the server is come back down to Eagle Dynamics and open the local web GUI. It's now checking for that application, that one, and it's actually checking to see is there something running locally. All right, so it is finding the server. Server has been detected and we're going to connect to that server. So there's a couple of bits of information there. It doesn't normally start active. So it just kind of sits there. Red, blue, server data, 
Tells you it's online, time, mission, etc. I did have another mission going, just because I've used the server before. So, if you want to do things like change the name, change the password, max players, um, anything like that, if you hit the little settings button, you can change the server name, password, maximum players, and that IP address is just your IP address and the port that you would like it to run on. Public or not, that's whether somebody has to t punch in your IP address or if they can actually find it in the search menu. Things like integrity check are required for your clients. I don't tend to require that because, well, I have mods of my own. And then just what kind of messages you would like to pop up in chat. Save and cancel. I don't really need to make any changes, so I'm going to cancel. And then we're going to come down here. Normally, these missions are not selected. They are just, this is usually empty. So to add a mission, you're going to hit plus, save games, DCS open beta server missions. You can either copy paste your missions in there, or you can go to save games, come up to folders, come down to DCS open beta, come down on the missions. And these are all the missions. So for this one, we called it server test mission. That's the one we've specifically designed. You can select multiple. We're going to add that one. So now we're going to select that and we are going to click run and it is going to run this mission. It's loading everything up. It's populating this little white box, that little white box with all the information. You can do things like loop shuffle. Uh, it gives you basically a current status of what's actually running, what's going. You've got a pause, stop, restart. You can change some of the settings, same ones as before. And then how long it's been up, what mission's currently running, red team progress, blue team progress, so when we blow up stuff, that'll start to populate. You've also got that up there, times, etc. Restart, stop, scores, just a bunch of good overall information. You can get the list of current players. There is a default one. Um, you can do things like ban and kick them. And you can also directly type in the chat here. So if you're just leaving this up for other people to play on, if they start typing in chat, you can pop in and you can just enjoy talking to them. There is a little database and scripting over here, so you can actually see the logs from there. Um, it basically just has a search, so if something's breaking, you can see what's going on, but you really can't interact with it. There is a language down here, Chinese, English, Russian, and Japanese. I only speak like one and a half of those, so we're going to stick with English. And that is pretty much how you get the server going. Uh, not super overly complicated, but useful. It does mean that you have to update two DCSs instead of just the first one. That is always a bit tricky. Just to keep them in sync, uh, you can always have your clients ahead of the server, but you can never have the server updated further than the client and still be able to join. So just something to keep in mind. And then when you want to stop it, it's literally just hit stop. It turns the server offline and voila, the mission took two minutes and that's really all there is to it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing just the super quick tutorial on how to get the DCS open beta dedicated server running and we'll see you guys in the next episode.